What's up everyone, Ninth Jim here, back with another VGC 2020 Pokemon Sword and Shield competitive video. And today, we're talking about Boltund. This Pokemon is pretty interesting, it has two really strong abilities, and pretty alright damage output. It's pretty frail, however, and it's also very, very fast. So, a couple of really cool things about this Pokemon right off the bat is its abilities. So, first off, we have Strong Jaw, which increases the power of biting moves by 50%. We see this on something like uh, Ficious Rend. Um, Dracovish already being very very powerful on this Pokemon you have uh, you know fang moves like Thunder Fang, Fire Fang, Psychic Fangs, Crunch, a whole lot of really good coverage moves all that are increased by Strong Jaw which is really cool and he also has the ability competitive which whenever any of its abilities are not abilities which if any of its stats are lowered by any amount of of lowering then its special attack is raised two stages. So that could be really cool for a special attacking Bolton. Maybe we'll feature that one other, uh, some other day. But for now, we're focusing on Strong Jaw, um, which just makes our biting moves very powerful. So this ability uh, is pretty good. Anyway, so this Pokemon, talking about this Pokemon, uh, it is Mono Electric Typing, which is pretty, you know, interesting. It's pretty normal. It's not very interesting. We have three resistances and one weakness. Resistances include Electric, Flying, and Steel. And then we have one weakness as well, which is Ground, um, which is a huge glaring weakness for this Pokemon. However, you could go with uh, something like a Shukaberry or Air Balloon or even, uh, you know, some kind of thing like that but we're just going focus sash just so we can uh, stay alive since our uh, HP and defenses are very very low so let's talk about stats so HP at 69 is very low um, as well as defense and special defense both at 60 respectively very very low um, very frail Pokemon so we're running focus sash just so we can stay alive for one to two turns um, pretty easily so as far as our offense goes, however, attack and special attack are both at 90, so you can really choose which way to go. Um, but like I said, we're going physical since we're using strong jaw and all of the strong jaw moves, all moves affected by strong jaw are going to be physical. So we're just leaning into that physical attack power. Um, but you could use special attack with uh, competitive as well. People would intimidate it, and then you know you just get an insanely powerful uh, Bolton using special attack moves. So that could be a really good way of uh, using this Pokemon as well. Then we also have our speed. Um, stat here at 121 base, which is very, very strong, giving us a really, really solid speed tier where we outspeed almost every meta mon in the game without supplements like, uh, you know, like chlorophyll and stuff like that. But yeah, very fast and pretty strong, like pretty solid, uh, pretty solid damage output with strong jaw on, uh, those jaw type attacks. It, al it also features a pretty solid move pool of good attacks other than jaw moves, um, as well. So let's talk about it. So into the build. So ability... Strong Jaw, like I was saying, is just the best one for physical attacking bolts and just making Thunder Fang, Fire Fang, Crunch, Psychic Fangs very, very strong, um, which is just really good. And then for our item, we're using Focus Sash, like I said, just to make uh, make it so that we live. So we'll attack probably first, unless they have like Dragapults or something, um, and then we'll be able to live one turn, and then we Focus Sash attack again. Um, so Focus Sash allows us to hit twice, when something like Choice Scarf would probably leave us um, only attacking once, which is... Um, not as worth it. So Focus Sash makes it a little bit better. Just very, very you know, solid speed tier. Focus Sash is just, it, it's good. So into our moves, we have moves like Thunder Fang, Fire Fang, Nuzzle, and Electrify. Thunder Fang and Fire Fang obviously play off of Strong Jaw well. Thunder Fang being Stab and then Fire Fang just being for coverage. Um, good against things like, uh, you know, like Excadrill and um, Venusaur. Like a lot of really good Pokemon. Pokemon Fire Fang uh, takes into effect, which is good. Also, um, Sun is one of the most uh, used weathers, and that makes Fire Fang essentially stab, and then just like very, very powerful, um, which is really good. So then we also have Nuzzle and Electrify. So both these moves are pretty interesting. Nuzzle is very good. 100% Paralyze is just so good, or 100 Accuracy Paralyze is just really, really good. It also it's a little bit of damage. Just have to be careful of things like Weakness Policy Lapras and Weakness Policy um, Togekiss. But, you know, like, it's probably worth it. Uh, Paralyzing is just really good. Uh, Nuzzle is just really good. On a fast Pokemon, a fast Nuzzle is just really strong. Then we also have Electrify, which is a really interesting ability. Um, or not ability. A really interesting attack that um, essentially just makes the uh, the move that they're using. Um, the, tra the target's move to Electric this turn. Which is really cool. Um, you know, being able to just make it not really do any damage to you, which is cool. It's also just, like... 
a really interesting attack. So you could even use something like uh, Togekiss or Lapras Weakness Policy and then electrify a Pokemon that's going to be doing, like, huge damage um, into Electric, which is, like, obviously not, like, super great because, uh, you know, it'll be damaging you, like, a lot. But it'll activate your Weakness Policy, which is, like, really cool. So, like, that's an, a very interesting way of, of using Electrify. Um, so, yeah, it's cool. And then uh, we also have some other moves. Oh, my voice. Uh, we have some other moves here, some flex moves. Um, things like Crunch, Psychic Fangs for coverage. Psychic Fangs also breaking screens, which is really good. And then we also have Volt Switch and Snarl. Volt Switch being able to switch you out, obviously. And then we also have Snarl for some utility. This Pokemon gets... Uh, I mean, a Fast Snarl is just really good. We saw that with Arcanine and things like that. So Fast Snarl is good. And then we also have Helping Hand. Of course, this Pokemon, like, you know... Helping Hand is very good. Uh, it doesn't have to play off of a fast Pokemon for Helping Hand, but Helping Hand is just good when you think you're going to die. And then, of course, we have Protect and stuff, like, uh, obviously. So, yeah, Bolton is pretty cool. It has some really good options. Um, the other items that we could have used is, like, Choice Scarf or Choice Band to supplement our damage or speed a little more, bit more. And then same with Life Orb, allowing us to just be more powerful. Uh, but, like I said, Focus Sash just helps us live a lot longer, which is good. Then, as far as our EV spread, it's very basic, just 252 into attack and 252 into speed, and then the extra 4 into HP. We ran Jolly Nature just so we were as fast as possible. Um, with 190 speed tier, we outspeed uh, things like Inteleon just barely, and um, other Pokemon without it. Uh... Yeah, Durant as well, um, which are, is, a, is a really good Pokemon to be able to outspeed, then we can nuzzle it. Um, which is really good. So, yeah, it's, it's a good at UV spread. I think that's correct. Um, you could go with HP as well, but uh, we just went with attack just for damage. And then uh, one synergetic Pokemon here we have is Excadrill. Excadrill just makes it really good. Um, it Obviously, it destroys other ground Pokemon uh, or most of the ground type Pokemon. Not all of them. You know, things like Gastro and stuff are really annoying for this Pokemon. Um, but it, it does uh, provide us a lot of uh, really powerful attacks. It also makes us a little bit bulkier, which we probably can't take as much um, advantage of that as other Pokemon could. But it's just good in general. Like Excadrill makes it very good. It, it just destroys every uh, every other Pokemon that like Bolton already destroys. So like you kind of just like bury every every um, you know flying type Pokemon or like Steel type Pokemon or something like that. It's just really good. So. Yeah, that's about it for this slide. Let's go ahead and move on. Um, talk about some speed here. So here we are at 190. You see the little Bolton. Um, this is really, really solid. 190, we outspeed so many good Pokemon. Things like Inteleon, Whimsicott, Durant, Charizard, Mimikyu, Arcanine, Excadrill. So many strong uh, and really good commonly fast Pokemon. Um, it's just really, really good speed tier to be at. We outspeed like Duraludon, like Form Change Rotom. Uh, not scarf like so many great Pokemon we just outspeed like we destroy them in speed tiers and then we can nuzzle them first like nuzzling uh, something like an Inteleon before it really gets to do anything and then if you can hit a full para or two like you can just like obliterate an Inteleon which is really good um, same, same with like Charizard and Durant and uh, Mimikyu like all of these really good Pokemon uh, nuzzle is really good against things like Mimikyu because it breaks the disguise as well as um, paralyzing it which is just really good uh, a couple of Pokemon that do outspeed us, however, is Dragapult. Of course, I mean, it's, you know, the fastest Pokemon, unsupplemented. We also have Form Change Rotom at Scarf. Any of these Scarf Pokemon, things like uh, Hydreigon, Galarian Darmanitan, Silvialli, um, other Scarf Pokemon, Chandelure, Vanillix, a lot of Pokemon that are commonly Scarf will be outspeeding us. Um, and then we also have Chlorophyll Pokemon, Swift Swim Pokemon, Unburdened Pokemon, all of those kind of Pokemon that just are, com are, are fast, and that's why they're good like it makes sense venusaur you know pokemon like that that just uh outspeed us anyway that's gonna be it for our speed tiers let's go ahead and talk about some damage calcs so this pokemon humbles itself not doing a lot of damage honestly not doing as much as we wish uh it two hit ko's a lot of things but it also has a chance to oko some things um so first off thunderfang into a togekiss this strong jaw boosted into a very, very defensive Togekiss, mind you. 236 HP, 196 plus defense. The most common spread on Picolytics. Um, hitting 53 to 64, which is a guaranteed 2 hit KO, which is really strong. But at the same time, like, if only we could, like, okay, it'd be crazy. But we can't. Um, so it, like, does some good damage. And then also Bolt and Fire Fang into an Excadrill. This should be, um, this is not Dynamax. So if it Dynamaxes, you're hitting 3 hit KO. If it doesn't Dynamax, you're hitting 2, KO, hit, two hit KO. But... Also, um, Excadrill return Oko's you, so hitting with like something like Earthquake is going to outspeed um, and kill you, which is really unfortunate. 
Uh, or actually, we ought to beat it, but it's going to return Oko us when we don't Oko them, which is unfortunate. So that's a bad matchup. Like, Excadrill is a bad matchup. Next, we have Strongjaw, um, Thunderfang into a pretty defensive Primarino, 252 HP and 4 defense. Hitting 87 to 103, which is really good. 25% chance to Oko. Primarina is trending up quite a bit. Um, you're seeing, we're seeing like Primarina all over the ladder and all over um, Pigalytics and Pokemon Showdown. Like we're seeing the Pokemon a lot um, and providing an almost uh, a very like not not a great percent chance to Oko, but doing huge damage with uh, something like Togekiss on the side or even Excadrill hitting like Rock Slide or something. Um, can take that turn one knockout before it gets to attack, which is really good. Unless it Dynamaxes, of course, but like, you know, whatever. So, then we also have Thunderfang into a pretty defensive Lapras, 228 HP, 124 defense. Um, into a G-Max Lapras hitting 28 to 34%, which gives us a pretty low chance, actually, to 3-hit uh, KO, which is unfortunate that it's just so little of a chance to 3-hit KO. Um, but, you know, like, Lapras is, like, known for being very bulky and uh, very defensive. Then next we have the Excadrill, we already talked about that. Even an Earthquake, like a multi-targeting Earthquake will Oko, so obviously something like High Horsepower or Max Quake will. Um, and then our last one, we just have a random defensive calc since uh, Excadrill is commonly played with Tyranitar. Not as much anymore, um, but Tyranitar has Rock Slide um, against our, our Bolted hitting 50-60%, to 60%, which is a guaranteed 2-hit KO even after Sandstorm damage, which is okay, but then uh, that plus like Dazzling Gleam or that plus Rock Slide from an, uh, an Excadrill or even just a single targeting Pokemon um, will be able to take a turn one knockout against our Bolton. So it's very, very frail, but it has pretty all right uh, damage output. And after like a supplement like Helping Hand or something, it, it can be it can put it in range of taking a lot of really big um, knockouts, uh, which is good. So let's talk about single spotlight real quick for this Pokemon. Um, this Pokemon is a level 100 spread, but it is the same as a level 50 spread like it doesn't matter really either way um so yeah we're using choice band and strong jaw just to do as much damage with this pokemon as possible um thunder fang fire fang psychic fang and play rough all of these attacks um play off of strong jaw except for uh play rough but they're all just very strong with choice band and strong jaw in general and uh then we're, for as far as our ev spread goes we just 252 into attack and, and speed um, and then Jolly Nature as well, just making us as fast as possible. This Pokemon hits an insane speed tier. Um, so playing very fast with Choice Band can make it do a lot, a lot of damage, which is really good. So anyway, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like Bolton, like and subscribe. If you like Ninth Gym, like and subscribe. If you don't like any of it, still like and subscribe. It means so much to me. Um, it's awesome. Like and subscribe. Anyway, Bolton is pretty cool. It has pretty solid uh, damage output while, while being very, very fast as well. Strong Jaw and Competitive are both amazing abilities, and this Pokemon can definitely take advantage of either of those ways of play, and it's pretty cool. Um, it's also just incredibly fast, so that's awesome. It's also just a good boy. Pet the little dude. Pet him. He's a good boy. Anyway, um, thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe, and join my Discord. Follow me on Twitter. All of those things, all the links will be down in the description, so if you want to do that, go do it. Um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.